Good morning. This is Bill from Auto Europe in Naples, and I'm a little bit troubled today having the very lovely exhaust note of that uh, Macan Turbo over there while I'm driving this four-cylinder Accord. Uh, you know, that said, the Accord is a fine car. It's terrific transportation. It's a lovely-looking sedan. And even though it represents most of the things that I hate about automotive uh, everything, uh, I have to say that it hasn't been a bad car to live with, uh, at least overnight. I did some shopping in it last night. Uh, you know, I got uh, a lot of stuff in the back. Everything was great. And it got me from point A to point B very safely and with, you know, a certain amount of luxury. Uh, you know, this is the ninth generation Accord. They've been building these things for a long, long time. Sorry about the wind. See if I can get somewhere a bit less windy. Uh, the first Accord, uh, you know, I can't remember when it came out, but it weighed 2,100 pounds, which is frankly less than a, uh, you know, a 1999 Miata. Uh, so it's a very light car. This one, you know, a third again as much, is now 3,100 pounds. Bigger, wider, much more substantial. Uh, it's become, you know, a very proper mid-size sedan. Uh, you can see the styling is quite nice. I like the chrome trim everywhere. It's an EXL model, so it's a little bit upgraded. Uh, it's wearing uh, very good-looking alloy wheels and, uh, you know, lovely sloping roof line, a little bit of a bump in the front fenders, uh, LED headlamps up front, uh, nice big brakes, you know, chrome door handles. It's a good looking car as far as cars go, but, you know, it really isn't much for driving excitement, uh, which is, you know, really frankly what I'm looking for. But again, my needs aren't everybody's needs, and uh, some people are gonna be very happy with uh, having a, extremely reliable, efficient, safe, proper, you know, four-door sedan to get where they're going. You got very loud weed whacker, I was pressure washing, that's fantastic. Uh, anyway, so let's start inside the trunk. Now, being the AXL, this thing does have uh, smart keys, so uh, I haven't quite yet figured out how to open the trunk. I tried swooping my foot underneath. That didn't work. Uh, I'm looking for, a, oh, there's a button. Okay, I found the button. Uh, here is a big trunk. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. You're not going to have a problem with that. Uh, it also does have fold-down rear seating if you need to go into general contractor mode. You're at Home Depot buying two-by-fours, or uh, you need to uh, carry fishing rods with you, or or sniper rifles or uh, any number of things that are long uh, you'll be able to put in the back of this car with no problem uh, everything fits lovely good you know durable carpet in there there's the original floor mats all very nice and proper I'll be honest I'm just I'm trying to find nice things to say about this car um, it's not <laughs> it's a bad car it just it just, it's just a car. Okay, anyway, let's have a look under the hood. Now, here's where I get really offended. Number one, because they're still using a damn prop rod. I mean, oh my God, that hood is heavy. That hood is very heavy for a prop rod. I mean, give us some, give us some bloody, you know, struts for Christ's sake. Okay, here is a very advanced Earth Dreams four-cylinder engine. Uh, you know, VVT technology, all kinds of technology jammed in this thing. Uh, it's, uh, it says VTEC on it, which is probably going to excite those, uh, you know, Honda Rice Racers. Um, you know, God help us if any of them come around. Oh, hey, man, that's, you know, that's a second-gen prelude, man. That's pretty badass. Anyway, uh, Earth Dreams, you know, come on, man. I mean, you know, like, I like to be socially conscious like the rest of us, but get Earth Dreams off the damn valve cover. Uh, anything, hey, everything very nice and proper here. It's, uh, you know, uh, horizontally mounted. Is that the right word? I don't know. Of course, it's horizontally. Whatever, longitudinally, doesn't matter. Uh, it's going left to right because it's a front drive car. It uses a CVT transmission, which is basically inst um, uh, you know, infinite amount of gears. Uh, constant velocity transmission really helps with fuel mileage. Uh, you can see everything nice, proper under here. About 185 horsepower, triple what the original Accord had. That had 62 to move its 2,100 pounds. So uh, we've come a long way. Uh, anyway, the four cylinders in these cars, uh, you know, they're better, uh, better mileage than the six. They're frankly better engines than the six. Uh, car and drivers 10 best list for uh, 14 included the four cylinder, of course, but not the six. So that tells you something. Uh, anyway, fine piece under the hood. 
fresh battery there, everything nice as it should be. Let me get my Wheaties going so I can lift this hood and get the prop down. Uh, let's see. Oh my God, this could, uh, I could break a wrist doing this. All right, let's have a look in the back seats. Okay, you're gonna have lots of nice leg. You see, when you get into a class of car like this, all the stuff that, you know, frankly just becomes tedious to me, becomes very important to the world, like leg room. People are gonna be worried about leg room in this car. I couldn't give a crap if my rear seat passengers go into some sort of, uh, you know, shock from being cramped up in a ball. It's completely irrelevant to me, but there are people who care about such things and uh, they're probably gonna be happy with this car. Uh, it's got lovely nice leather that you can sit in, all very proper. Uh, again, those things do fold down these seats. Uh, it's got a little, armrest there with cup holders, nice stuff. Uh, I do like the uh, black and tan combo. I think that's a very clever thing car companies have started to do is the black carpeting and door panel stuff with the uh, light seats. Uh, everyone likes light seats down here and that's great, but when you have light carpet and you're getting in and out of the thing, it just, you know, it looks like some filth monster has been driving it. So uh, the black carpets and such really do not only look visually appealing, but help keep the car clean inside. Uh, being a Honda, nice fit and finish on everything, good quality plastics, all this is going to be great, it's not going to break, it's going to keep going, and that's, you know, what owning one of these cars is mostly about. Alright, so being a smart key on this thing, the upgraded EXL, gives you a little button here that you can press, and that's going to lock the car. I bet you have to press it again to open it. No, you don't, just put your hand on it, Mercedes style. And all very nice. So up front you have more leather seats. They're uh, dual power, uh, driver side, passenger side. They're heated. Uh, they're very nice to look at. I will say that again. I like the black bases with the cream beige leather. Looks really good. Lovely door panel treatment up here. You've got your power windows, your power mirrors, your uh, yeah locks, oh, memory seat stuff. All very nice. You got a tweeter, the dome facing you, giving you nice tweets. Uh, and uh, everything lovely, so let's hop in. Okay, also being a modern car, it's kind of like the Starship Enterprise when you fire it all up, so to do that, foot on the brake, we're gonna tap this sort of ironically dark red engine start stop button. That looks like it should be in a Lotus. And everything fires to life. I already saw leaf light up and then go away on the, the dash. I think that's from this econ button. Let's press that. Yeah, we've got a leaf. So I don't know what that does, but probably helps you donate to the Sierra Club or something. Get my seatbelt on. So again, in this class of cars, things like safety are important, things like features are important, uh, and that's all great. It's got to have all that stuff. It's got airbags everywhere, of course. Uh, very good uh, crash ratings. Uh, I do like the chronograph style instrument cluster. That's nice and sporty looking. 160 mile an hour speedo, which I feel is probably ambitious. Uh, near 7,000 RPM red. I gotta get this leaf off of there. Oh my God, leaf. Give me a break. Anyway, um, you've got a nice big display in the center of the speedometer that gives you, uh, you know, your miles per gallon. It's telling you how kind you are to the world. Uh, this was a trade-in. A good friend of mine owned this car. I, 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 you know, I tried. We grew up together. I tried. I, you know, he just didn't get into cars. He just, you know, this, this to him was the pinnacle of automotive engineering. It's reliable. He'll tell you it's efficient. Uh, you know, it's it's... Okay, you know, I don't know. Anyway, um, everything nice and proper there. You got a multifunction steering wheel with uh, radio stuff. Uh, I don't know what this does. This uh, this changes your display over here. You got two different gas pumps, musical notes. Oh, what the hell? Okay, what current drive, instant fuel, previous average fuel. You could have two, so if one set of mile per gallon readouts isn't enough for you. It gives you a second one. Great. Uh, now there's supposed to be some sort of stock here somewhere that gives you a, a mirror thing. I think this is it. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so we've got a side view mirror. There's a camera hanging on the uh, on the right side of the car, and uh, this is going to check your blind spot for you. Okay, so I found something that I actually really like about this. I haven't seen that on another car. I may just press that and keep driving around. So uh, that uh, that is a pretty cool blind spot uh, assist type thing. Uh, you can see it also as an indicator up there for front end collision warning uh, if you're uh, you know sort of going through your receipts to see you know how much you spent at Whole Foods last week then uh, you're not paying attention you're coming up fast on a car that thing's gonna start flashing like a Christmas tree and uh, you know beeping at you and telling you to watch the hell out um, you got voice command down here you've got uh, phone answering hanging up uh, here's your cruise control I believe in this car it is a uh, uh, variable cruise that should be in the EXL unless that was an option it doesn't have but anyway there it is you can see he used the hell out of the cruise he's got the buttons worn off there you they gotta teach I mean you just press me gently press these things you don't have to slam them or beat them anyway the car is so mint you know he looked after it so well and then to have rubbed the cruise so much just seems ridiculous anyway uh, nice big screen over here and looks to be in the 11 inch range that gives you your uh, FM readout and of course all your different fuel mileage readings let's see what this thing is the display ah we've got starry night from uh, you know Windows 3.1 uh, looks a little bit like something out of the uh, the view screen from the Enterprise I'm gonna leave that on uh, down here you've got another screen which is probably tough it is and that way you'll be able to go through your different um, uh, presets and uh, I didn't want to do that you see my fingers don't always hit the correct location I feel like that should be done better let's see what we got on the radio Day, I came across all these facts okay, about nothing rubbish uh, down here you've got dual side climate control very nice you do have freezing air conditioning because it's a Honda uh, very funky laid out dashboard with all the swoops and curves and the you know, big console going into the other console all kind of cool you've got an in dash uh, CD here uh, this must be your hazards big giant switch there uh, you got a little compartment here to put some yeah it's probably a good spot for a nine millimeter uh, down there you've got an exhibit auxiliary output, uh, sorry, auxiliary input with USB, power outlet, all nice. Here's your heated seats. Uh, you know, I don't know why it does DSL, which sounds to me like second and low. Um, you know, it is CVT, so it really doesn't have gears. It's just always uh, doing gears. So uh, anyway, somehow that's for that. You do have uh, an e-brake. You do have very nicely uh, simple cup holders there. You got a little place here with more outlets that my detailer didn't bother to clean. Uh, you got a glove box over here with some books in there. You can turn off the trunk release. Uh, here you've got a self-dimming mirror. I saw it had a light sensor on the outside. Uh, you got a big power sunroof. Lovely. Get that closed again. Uh, you got a place to store some sunglasses. Nice. And uh, everything proper. So, all right, let's go for a spin in this thing. Look at that. We got meatballs on the side. He's ready for track day. Let me turn on. I'm going to turn on this camera again. I love that. All right, let's see. Let's just keep that on as we drive. Okay, so again, now we're talking about the sort of pedestrian transportation market. And I can tell you that this car is going to hit it out of the park. It's quiet, it's refined, the steering is very light. I'm sure it's a variable assist, so it assists more at low speeds, assists less at high speeds. Nice road feel. Uh, it does feel very nimble. I could just bounce this thing all around. Uh, I think they cheapened the suspension for this year. They went from some sort of fancier, exp uh, expensive suspension to a kind of a McPherson strut thing, but you know, that's fine kept the price in line and uh, it works really well it's not more than you need I mean let's face it the guy driving this car is not going to be out there you know taking turn 17 at Sebring with uh, you know any sort of uh, frequency this guy again sons of anarchy uh, it goes down the road lovely tracks nice and smooth we've still got our blind spot camera going which I'm enjoying some poor fluffy dogs there uh, you know a nice feel from the pedal <laughs> little Earth Dreams four-cylinder really, uh, really revs right up. Look at that. Now we have all the Sons of Anarchy coming. 
Oh boy. Yeah, they're heading to some gas station somewhere. They're going to pull their switch blades. They're going to have chains. They're going to beat the attendant with. Uh, you know, some poor guy pulls up. They're going to give his wife some trouble. Uh, you know, you got to watch out for those cats. Uh, hang on wheels. Um, oh, geez. There he comes next to me. I don't know where you even buy shorts like that. There must be a place, but I've never seen them for sale anywhere. Uh, anyway, um, let's hammer it. Well, I have to say, it does get up and move. I mean, you're not going to feel like you're struggling getting on an on-ramp there uh, that uh, really starts screaming under the hood. I think the Earth Dreams part is going to be very unhappy with the fuel mileage I get when I'm at full throttle all the time. Well, there it is. Anyway, this is a very nicely equipped, very nicely styled, very attractive, very proper way a very safe way to get from point A to point B in relative luxury. Certainly, they're going to be very reliable. Uh, they're going to be very safe. Again, we've got our blind spot mirror going. If I start running over garbage cans, I'll be able to watch them scatter behind me. That guy could definitely use a walk. Um, so anyway, there it is. 2014 Honda Accord EXL sedan. Lovely looking piece. You know, blackout. There's a duck. An angry looking duck. Uh, lovely, you know, black and tan finish. Uh, 117,000 miles. He drove the hell out of this thing. So uh, it's going to be cheap. And I can tell you that Phil is the kind of guy who maintained this thing to an annoying level. It was probably at the dealership for oil changes, you know, 20 miles early every time. He's looking through the book to see when he has to do extra services. Um, he's just that sort of guy. You just, you know, you want to buy a car from him, but you don't necessarily want him to get in a conversation about car maintenance with him. So start glazing your eyes over. Uh, anyway, the thing runs great, looks good, very reliable. You know, for cheap money, you can get a very modern, proper car and put a lot of miles on it. Uh, if you have an interest, give us a call, 239-649-7300, on the web at mercedesexpert.com. I'm going to commute my way nicely into work. I'm going to get some Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, I'm on a diet now, which sucks, so I'm not going to get a donut. I'm just going to get coffee. You know, they want me to give up coffee. Absolutely not. Not now. Not ever. Never happen. Will never happen. I mean, if you want me to become, uh, you know, a vicious, angry, savage animal, then, you know, make me give up coffee, up some herbal tea or something. You go straight to hell with that. Anyway, I'm sorry for rambling, but I mean, yeah, let's see what happens when they ask you to give up coffee. Thank you very much for having a look. I appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you with the next one.